Hello and welcome to the second episode of CK Tutorials. In this episode we'll be covering height mapping and a little bit of nav meshing. So you want to have a world space. I already have one. NW1 New World. Inch. You can change the wa lot water. It's just the, lauder, the water that you see in the distance. So we'll make it Shadow Beer Water. You want to do the same thing for the regular water, or else it wouldn't look right. And we're done here. You can change the music. Any of the music that's in game, we'll do Aldo and Death. But that's probably very nice music. Now we want a height map. Open height map editing and go to the world, New World 1. You could go into as much detail as you want, but keep in mind the more detail, the more time it takes to nav mesh. So we're just going to do something very simple once I find 0, 0. Well, it probably won't work right now because I need to select this tool, which is to up the terrain. Now we went to lift this up until it gets like that high press save and just keep pressing cancel it's just a stupid error code or something violent use code you just want to hit cancel now you can go into as much detail as you want as I said we're just going to do something very simple and flatten this out a little so we won't have to take forever height nav, nav meshing. Not too many cells. Just remember to press cancel or press space. I'll go over a little bit of land texturing too. Not too much detail in it, but we're done there. You want to find your world in the world space. And there it is, a big circle. As you can see, it looks kind of awful here on the edges. So we can get to soften vertices on those edges. Get it look nice. I usually erode whenever I do this kind of stuff. But that takes too long, so we're not going to be doing that. Better make this video much longer. I am very quiet. Alright, we're done with that. Now it's a big circle in the middle of the ocean. Now, texturing the land. You could just go through any of these. Just select one that you want. Probably not going to take too long on this. It'll just make it snowy. Just do this for the whole land if you want. Or do it for a section. Make half of it silly, half of it grassy if you'd like. Wouldn't make much sense. Just get it all on there. Almost there. Done. Now, if this were food, it would be tasteless. So we want to give it some taste. Just find the other snow texture. And add some of that in there, here and there.
doesn't matter where you can just randomly put stuff in there now we're gonna put some maybe some grass now if you just if you keep the grass display on it'll just lag the game so you just want to turn the grass display off so it won't lag and what's on there? there we go it's textured doesn't look like much just just a tutorial you can go however big you want with this so we're done with landscape editing I'm pretty sure now since it's snowy we need to make a climate for it so go to all and search climate we'll duplicate the default climate and we'll just call it NW1 new world 1 climate get rid of the one that's already in there we don't want it to be clear we want to add a Skyrim snowstorm. Let's add. Just click X on that. Click on this and press F2. I think. No, just double double click very slowly on it. Now type in 100. That means it'll always be having a snowstorm. You could mess around the moons, get rid of mass, or get rid of secunda. We'll just get rid of secunda. Get rid of the phase length. Make it four days. You could do all this stuff with it, but we're not going to do that. Yeah. So we're done with that. Now to get the climate to actually be in the world space, we need to change the climate to it. So NW1 climate. And we're done there. Now, I'm going to do nav meshing. I'll show you how I do it, but then I'm going to pause the tutorial so I can do all the world space. So first off, you need to press Control e to open this, or you can just press that button. Nav mesh, generation, advanced. And you want to generate land and objects. If it stops make, doing the stuff at the bottom of the screen, don't worry. It won't screw it up. It just says that. So yeah, pretty simple. Just press the button and let it do its magic. So I'm going to pause this tutorial until I get it fully nav meshed. Okay, so we've got the nav mesh done. I'd say it took about maybe five minutes. Luckily, I didn't have to put you all through that pain and agony of nav meshing. So I'm just going to tell you some things you should be aware of. When you save, it takes a longer amount of time to save because it does this at the bottom of the screen. And it does that, don't worry. Your game's not going to crash. Just give it a minute. Depending on how much world space you've nav meshed. And whenever you're nav meshing, whenever other parts of the nav mesh disappear, don't be worried. Don't panic. It doesn't disappear. It just, it's there. It just doesn't show up because there's so much nav mesh. Yeah. So it looks bland still. It doesn't have anything. So we are going to put IC LOD. If you don't know what that is, you will know in a second. The Imperial Cities LOD. So, well, crap. Yeah, we're going to put the Imperial City LOD in here. Duplicate it so we can put it in both sides. And make sure you get it together. Yeah. So now we've got 
a big representation of the Imperial City. Let me make sure it's put together. It's on the floor. No, it is not on the floor. Well, there's an easy way to do it than this. Just press Z. Move it to it. Yeah. So now they've got Imperial City here. It's not... You can see through it still a little bit right here. It's probably because Bethesda didn't put it in both ways. They just put it in one way. So... Well, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna see if I can get fraps to combine. I'm gonna get go in fraps and on Skyrim I'm gonna show you the world and it might be on this video. I don't know if I can figure out how to combine it, combine videos with Movie Maker, and yeah, it will be in this video. But we're gonna save real quick. And I will possibly see you in game. If not, I hope to see you in the next tutorial. As you can see, we are here in the Imperial City. You can walk through it because Bethesda didn't want anybody really going over there. And this world is pretty big. Yeah. I'm rushing because my frap screws up every 30 seconds. It stops recording. So, yeah, here it is. Imperial City. Walk through it. Yep, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial.